Welcome back. Nimrana in Rajasthan's Alwar district has been rapidly developing into an industrial hub with the many Japanese companies operating there. The residential market here is small but has steadily posted returns on the price appreciation front. Onitam Ojha reports on the latest from Nimrana's property market. Nimrana is fast getting back on track as a property destination and all set to shed its tag of being just a luxury tourist destination for its much-famed Nimrana fort. The skyline of this quaint town is changing fast from picturesque rocky landscapes to industrial and residential high-rises. With a supply of 6,061 units and 1,945 units up for grabs, the buzz seemed to be back. Take a drive down NH8 uh, for people who have not been that side, it will be an eye-opener to see the number of industries which have come up on both the sides. And there are new industrial areas like Giloth and Kushkera also coming up. For an investor, these are great places to invest, either for uh, just to keep it for capital appreciation or even the rental market is very, very strong. Between May 2014 and November 2014, total absorption saw a significant jump of 35.82% during the period. Though there has been no new project launches, the market seemed to be holding up pretty well. Weighted average price of units including resale segment hovered around the 2,850 rupees per square feet level. Price appreciation in this market has been on the rise, starting with as low as 9% in second half of 2012 to a high of 31.5% in second half of 2013 to a pretty decent rise to 37.8% in second half of 2014 amid downturn blues. The Ghilot industrial area that Rico has just uh, started marketing, that they are marketing uh, to the Koreans. Also, uh, they are uh, trying to get the ceramic industry to come to the Ghilot industrial area. So that's one large uh, industrial industrialization that we shall see soon in Nimrana. Rental value here is about 50,000 and 1 lakh. For the Japanese. Ke liye. और एक साल की चेंजेस की बात करते हैं तो यहां पे 2011 के बाद चेंजिंग अच्छी है काफी मार्केट में प्रोजेक्ट आ चुके हैं जैसे कि भाई आज अपन बात कर रहे हैं रेडी टू मूव के लिए आसादीप है एलडी को मेन है विद इन इयर्स निमराना बिकेम होम टू टॉप एजुकेशनल इंस्टीट्यूशंस लाइक एनआईआईटी एंड रैफल्स यूनिवर्सिटी द राजस्थान गवर्नमेंट्स इनिशिएटिव टू सेट अप जापानीज इन्वेस्टमेंट जोन टर्न अराउंड द फॉर्च्यून ऑफ दिस रियल एस्टेट मार्केट the market is now betting big on the proposed Korean, German and American zones and another 20 educational institutions that are in the pipeline. The Delhi-Mumbai Industrial Corridor too is expected to contribute its bid to the market. It makes Nimrana a comfortable place to stay. I have no um, uh, complaints as such. I've been staying here for the last five years. Nimrana is not Gurgaon, Nimrana is not Delhi. But at the same time, what a normal um, uh, a person needs for his normal existence is available. So to that extent, there's no problem as such. It's not just the residential projects that's spreading its footprints in the Nimrana market. Commercial real estate too is picking up in this market with mall culture fast catching up. In Nimrana, Oinitam Oja, NDTV. Okay, moving from Nimrana to Noida, we have a question coming in from Durgesh Manu. He'd like to invest in Noida. Hi, Durgesh, go ahead. I am looking to buy a 2 BHK flat in Noida and my budget is around 45 lakhs. So, any suggestions? Okay, uh, Durgesh did have a few uh, shortlisted projects. Uh, he's looking at Supertech Cape Town in sector 74. There is Amrapali Zodiac uh, in sector 120. Also looking at Gulshan Ikebana sector 143. Samir, are these the best picks in this budget or do you have something else recommended? Uh, so before we come to these three projects, I think we should definitely look at the key data points of this region. Uh, there are two micro markets where you have shortlisted your projects. So one is the upcoming region which starts with sector 70 and goes all the way up to 122. The other is the Noida Expressway stretch 2, which starts with sector 93 and goes all the way up to 143B. In both these regions, uh, the supply is quite high. A lot of supply has happened over the last uh, two and a half, three years, and now execution is being uh, concentrated upon by the developers. Uh, that's why the inventory overhang is still uh, quite reasonably high because of slow sales happening. Noida Expressway is now stretched to is 26 months. Upcoming region although is a little safer at 20 odd months, uh, but uh, here the supply has been much lesser 
compared to the upcoming region. Uh, the weighted average price of the upcoming region is 5150 rupees a square foot, whereas the Noida Expressway Stretch 2 is about 5050 now. It's crept up slowly. Price appreciation has been reasonable, keeping the slowdown in mind. 13% uh, annualized for the upcoming region because of the base being low. And Noida Expressway Stretch 2 is at 11% on an annualized basis. Cape Town uh, Supertech Limited, your first choice is definitely a go ahead from our side. Uh, this is a 50 acre township uh, which also houses other luxury offerings like the North Eye and Orb. Uh, the project is adjoining a 100 acre park uh, which is a big USP. Uh, project has four side open uh, campuses, uh, also has in house shopping complex, commercial spaces, penthouses and villas approved by all the top banks. Then we have Zodiac by Amar Pali developer was the second shortlist, but uh, we would recommend you that there are better options available in the market. Uh, although the project project is partially ready, but phase two is slightly stuck, uh, where which is under construction. So that's uh, what you have to be mindful of. And Gulchan Ikabana was the third project that you shortlisted. Uh, definitely gets a go ahead from our side. The only issue being that it is out of your budget because this project is three uh, only three BHKs of 1340 square foot so the minimum size flat will be 63 lakhs and that is way beyond your budget at this point in time so I won't get into the details of this project however we have one recommendation from our side that you may want to consider in addition to the super uh, choice that you made Hyde Park by Nimbus IITL uh, trading at 5000 rupees here the two BHK is only 900 odd square feet so you can easily, uh, that falls within your budget. Project is also large enough, 15 odd acres, almost ready. The project is, uh, possession will be given uh, very soon. It's close to the proposed metro station and there's got a 50,000 square feet luxurious clubhouse, which has got a pool, gym, steam, sauna, medical center, so on and so forth. So go ahead with this project as well. Okay, so those were the top recommendations in Noida. Moving on to Gurgaon, we have Sivran on the line with us. Hi Sivran, go ahead. I wanted to understand with a budget of anywhere from 75 lakhs to um, one and a half crores, what is a good investment uh, in terms of three to four bedrooms in Gurgaon uh, and particularly not in the uh, uh, Dwarka Expressway area because that's been, uh, as I understand, in limbo for quite some time. So I'd like to understand if I'm taking a time horizon of three to five years, mm. what would be a good uh, investment where I can okay. uh, get some good returns. Okay. Samir, uh, Sivran is uh, willing to wait for five years. The Dwarka Expressway he wants to be uh, invested in, about one crore. Yeah, so uh, I think uh, right choice to make. If you're waiting for five years, go ahead with Gurgaon uh, side of the Dwarka Expressway or the Delhi side of the Dwarka Expressway. Both micro markets will give you a, at least a 15% plus return if you wait for five years on an analyzed basis. Uh, the micro markets today are trading at the right price points now where the weighted average price of Gurgaon side is down to 5,250 rupees a square foot, whereas the Delhi side is at 6,050, slight, still slightly steep. The inventory overhang is 28 months for Gurgaon side, whereas Delhi side is about 8 months only. On the price appreciation charts, Gurgaon side is about 11 odd percent because of low base. Uh, and Delhi side is about at 9.8 percent on an analyzed basis of price appreciation. The three projects that you can consider are Cocoon by ATS Builders, uh, trading between 6200 and 6500 rupees a square foot. The project is uh, got a clubhouse, swimming pool, shopping facility. Uh, construction has reached uh, in advanced stages. Uh, structures are up, and uh, the possession is expected to be given late next year. It's an 11 acre project with three and four BHK units only. Uh, then you have the Heart Song by Experienced Developers. Uh, this is a 15 acre project, uh, 20,000 square feet of clubhouse uh, with uh, provision of two nursery schools even within the project and it's off Dwarka Expressway but as an alternative connectivity through a 75 meter sector road. Heritage Max by Conscient, uh, this is a low density project about 45 units per acre. Project construction has already reached up to the 8th, 10th level and it's on based on a sports theme and has 90% open area with jogging tracks, cycling tracks and other sports facilities like a football field even with floodlights. Okay, so Sivran, we have uh, three top rated projects on the Delhi side of the Dwarka Expressway. These sectors are low on livability but that will improve once the Dwarka Expressway sees completion. Uh, you can look at Cocoon by ATS Builders, the Heart Song by Experian Developers and Heritage Max by Conscient Infrastructure. And that was the last market in focus today. Email us to get your query featured on our upcoming shows. 
You can also connect with us on Radio City every Saturday between 2 to 3 p.m. and learn about the latest in property by following us on Twitter and Facebook. Samir and I will see you on another edition. Until next time, goodbye.